they made this kid eat a Carolina Reaper. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he's eating the Reaper and he's like, fuck, this is hot. And they like, they told him like, yeah, you got to eat this Reaper and we're going to record you doing it. So he's eating it and he's freaking out because it's hot. And then this other kid comes up and just kicks him in the balls so hard. <laughs> while, while, while he's eating. Probably for views. Like, that's oh, my, you know what I'm saying? That may, dude, I bet that video has, has so many views. This I bet it's funny. I'm not going to live to see how many views we have. <laughs> <laughs> Hey mama, I know y'all hate me, guess what, I'm me, well, y'all should have been FBS Podcast, Hateful J, Sugar Shane, damn that was loud, was that loud? Let me see, yeah, it's yeah. fine, Why are you motherfuckers, <laughs> we in this bitch man, how y'all doing, hopefully good, it's still 2020, I know, I know, I know, it'll be over soon, maybe, we'll see what's happening, R.I.P. Alex Trebek, gotta get that out of the way, R.I.P. King Von, Oh, there's some shit that's going on with that too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I saw I might, I might Quavo? not talk about it. No, no, no. About, uh, it's like so hunting him or something. We'll get there. No, no, no. Little no. Dirk. No, 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 no. We'll get there. Um, but yeah, Xbox release day for everybody. Um, you know, on on this day of recording, November tenth, Tuesday. So you know, interesting things. Interesting day. It's a, it's, it's a mad mad world, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. How you doing, Shane? What's up? Fucking good. Fucking good. <laughs> Not really, actually. You're aggressive this week. We man. both uh, we both had a pretty pretty shitty morning. Oh, listen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, y'all gonna see the, the the cause of the shitty morning, but we did the one chip challenge. Um. By now, it's out. By now, you could see it. If you haven't seen it, go to YouTube, our Facebook. You know, it's all on the page. Um. It's pretty bad. Way more than what was expected. We're bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we trash. I mean, nobody's going to sit here and try to exaggerate. Um, yeah, we suck. I was like, I'm going to go a while without tears. Fuck no. Bro. <laughs> I just keep thinking back. You was like, he <laughs> was like a minute into it. I was going to try. I know I couldn't do it, but I was just going to like, I was trying to get my mind over matter. Yeah, bad. I was going to. Yeah, me too. But as soon as you was like. You want to take a drink now? <laughs> like, bro. I was like, fuck, bro. bro it was un- me that that shit was unbearable, But you remember bro. how I paused? I was yeah. like, yeah, well, let's do it. Fuck, man. Like, why did you open the door? You should have never said it. I probably could have got to like three minutes. Bro, I was thinking. I was but like, there's no way I was I was really me. thinking. I was like, man, should I ask him? Fuck it, dude. I can't do it anymore. Bro, mm-hmm. that shit was bad. It was, it was, hey, painful. It was a big fail video. But y'all saw, if y'all saw, y'all saw it by now, if you didn't check it out, definitely a funny ass video, man. Let's get, let's get some likes on this shit because it hurt. That shit hurt. Yeah. Anyway, man. Yeah, we didn't do that for nothing. Yeah. And this morning was pretty bad. If just if you get it. Well, we did. <laughs> we did it because we dumbass. That's why we did it. That's the bottom line yeah, is bottom, we yeah. are dumbass. It's like for all the other reasons that we did it, the main thing is we are stupid as fuck. We, we're not doing it again. No, hell no. I'm not. Hell no. As I sip this juice, everything cold tastes better. I just told Shane that. <laughs> hey, listen. Have you ever had your belly on fire like I was having gut and booty hole convulsions, bro. Not only that. It was fucked up. It felt like if you bit the hottest pizza, like, fresh out the oven, and then that burnt stayed on your tongue for was, a fat It was minute. so it fucking was instant. Yeah. It Every was, sip of water, it made it burn more. Yeah. I was like, man, I might as well. I sh- probably shouldn't drink it. It'd probably go way faster if I didn't, but I couldn't I couldn't help it, you bro. know? <clears throat> Whew, I'm, we're never doing that again. No. Let's get into the news, man. We BSing today. We got a big... um. TV series show for y'all. We also gonna do our Mandalorian review and a bunch of other things, man. Um, first off, I gotta get into this. It might be controversial. I don't know. I don't care. Johnny Depp, man, got kicked off of Fantastic Beast three because you know that case he had mm-hmm. of uh, Amber Heard, mm-hmm. and it was came to find out that she was the violent one. She was mm-hmm. whooping his ass, and, and she didn't get kicked off of the Aquaman movie. I'm like pissed off. Pushing. I'm getting. I got some qualms. I got. That's probably my only qualm I got for real. Yeah, that's it. But. That's bullshit. Yeah, how are you? How are the you about to kick going him crazy off? with the memes? That makes everything? no sense at all. Makes no sense at all. What? She was the aggressor. They're not going to kick her off of Aquaman, but you're going to kick him off of that for being a part of it. That don't, makes no sense. I don't understand, bro. Yeah, I don't get it. They, they, if they're going to do anything, both of them lose their roles. If they're going to do that, you know what I mean? They like, but at the same time, like, why not? Well, they're two separate companies. Yeah, well, it is two separate yeah, I mean, yeah, but. Yeah, I, got, I mean, I guess you could blame the company that does Fantastic Beasts, but still it's some bullshit. Like, what are they looking at? I mean, I don't want to talk about it too much. You know what I'm saying? But I just think it's trash. Yeah, it's definitely trash. I think trash. it's trash. Johnny Depp been doing his thing for years, man. We ain't, why you got to go through shit like this? Again, I've said I it. I wasn't there. We don't know what happened, but it was 
It was it was put out there that she was the one, you know what I mean? <laughs> And they they have recordings like voicemail, rec- uh, and they have like actual conversations between him and her that are recordings of her saying that she did it. You know what I'm saying? And talking. Oh, about I know, it. See, I didn't know that part. Yeah, like I they, just read the articles and shit. I didn't no, know like there's an entire that. recording where like where they're having a conversation and he like recorded it and she admitted it on there, and like and pretty much like told on herself. That's why it was like it was a for sure fact that it happened That's because trash. she told on herself. <clears> and then trash. they still didn't fire, did not. Not fire her. That's trash. <laughs> you know. That's trash. On the lighter news and better news, Dave Chappelle was on SNL. He did pretty much a monologue. Um, I think he was only like one skit. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to. You know what I mean? It's my idol. Like me and Shane both. Uh, but let me check that out. It's supposed to be the the most fire shit. Everybody's raving about it. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna see what it people is. People could be hyping it up. Which I'm not downing that. I'm not yeah. downing it, but. Like we always talk about, I'm sure it's just something he said before. He just do, being Dave. Mm-hmm. Like when you're an old Dave fan, it don't, it don't surprise you. You just mm-hmm. appreciate it over and over again. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? I always um I always love to listen to what he has to say. Yeah, it's usually pretty insightful. It's all it's all <clears> it's always pleasant. Um, uh, Netflix. I could have said this for ne- entertainment, but I didn't. Netflix is about to enter is about to experiment with a like a channel, like literally just like a channel like on cable or like TV. Mm-hmm. So where they got like program shit, and just play random shit. Random shit. What do you think about that? I mean, it figures. <laughs> <laughs> like I just, I think that I don't think they need to do that. But yeah, I, I was, I don't see why. Yeah, like that doesn't. People watch you anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They're not. They're they're probably be like, all right, you could pay an extra five bucks a month and you get the Netflix channel. Yeah, you don't get to pick it though. Still, but like, it's what like, it is. Yeah, like that's the that's the thing. You it's know, like why why would somebody want to do that? But they did say some things about. Um, introducing stuff to people that it, that they wouldn't normally watch. Maybe they only place Which Netflix originals on there. <clears throat> Probably, you know, that would make sense because I feel like putting some in syndication type shit like that costs a little more. Mm-hmm. It's like a different deal. Yeah, but yeah, how do you get past? How do you make that make sense when somebody can just literally be like, no, I don't watch this, and go to the normal Netflix and pick whatever you want? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like I said, they did say it's a way to introduce people into other shit, and we all have those times to where like we don't know what to watch. Mm-hmm. And for real, I wouldn't mind having a Netflix or a Hulu that just runs so I ain't got to rummage through and find just like, because mm-hmm. like a lot of what I do is background noise. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. In a, in a sense. In a sense. <clears throat> if it was like all the Netflix series, you know what I mean? Done like that kind of network and not a bunch of movies, mm-hmm. that'd be fire. Just just bunch of shows. Like episodes of shit, just yeah. like an ABC or NBC. Yeah. I mean, you could do it like a TV station where it is a bunch of shows and then you'd be like, movie coming That'd up. be dope. You know what I'm saying? Like. Because you could just pick, literally pick your show. Mm-hmm. Just like you do <clears throat> when you watch Fox or anything right. else. Now, that's fire. That might that might work. But there's no way they can charge more Big money. Mouth is a Netflix original. You think they play that on there? Yeah, I mean, it's part of it. But there's no way. But then it's open for anybody to watch. There's show no is, way they can woo. charge you more, though. Yeah. Uh, Get the fuck out of here. That'd be nuts, though. That's less, that's less advantage than just having regular Netflix. Then, if they didn't charge you extra... The Netflix is just going to get, or just, then the TV companies are asking Netflix, like, hey, you should come on our thing. So then more people want to keep cable then, maybe, you know? Or Netflix is saying, let us on there. Well, you can charge them five bucks or whatever. That's what I'm, that's what yeah. I'm thinking. Cable, <clears throat> cable has became the most useless commodity. Do you got any news there, Shane? I do. What you got, dog? Yeah, just some goofy Shane shit. Shane with the news. Um, so Pennsylvania police, they captured a pig wandering loose, <clears throat> like in the road. <laughs> Why? Which is so weird. I think it's ironic that the the Pennsylvania police caught a pig. Pigs <laughs> catching pigs. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect to the, you know, no respect to the decent. Did he catch his buddy? To the decent ones out there. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? I just thought that was funny. No, I was funny. like, that's fucking ironic. Like, funny. what are you doing out here, Frank? I don't even think that was meant to be ironic either. I just thought it was. No, you know? that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, this is kind of cool. So this six year old kid just made it in the Guinness Book of World Records. He's the youngest computer programmer in like ever. Oh, that's fire. Six years old. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. I bet he got a YouTube channel doing tutorials and shit. Yeah, I don't know. They, it's uh, fucking crazy. Six. That's crazy, bro. Um, That's fucking genius. Jesus Christ. Here's some Kentucky news. Kentucky woman. Fuck, fuck this lady. Kentucky woman wins a $100,000 lottery 13 years later after winning a million dollar lottery. So this bitch won twice in her life. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Huge, huge payouts, too. <clears throat> I want some of that money. Yeah, man. what the hell? What the fuck do it take to win the lottery, bro? 
Man, there's this guy, this old guy, he goes into the little mini mart that I go to, and he's in there every day buying multiple, multiple lotteries. So I guess instead of going to the casino, he just goes there and buys lottery tickets. And his name is on the wall. He, he won a $50,000 lottery ticket, and he fucking spent it all. <laughs> and back buying lotteries. And this is what he told me. I was like, geez, Get man. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> and he's always back there. And then I, and he wins all the time. I don't know what he's winning, but every time he, he'll come up and he's giving, their, uh, giving the people like four scratched off lottery tickets that he just won. It's fucking crazy. Jesus. You must have to play a lot. I would love odds. that. I would love to have some just some of that luck for like a week. Mm-hmm. I won a lottery once. It. Someone was saying if you bought that, some guy told me in the line if you bought a lot, the one of the twenty dollars lotteries, you're more likely to at least win your ticket back or something. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. And I won two hundred bucks and I was happy. <clears throat> yeah, that's like, yeah. That's like, I've, I've won big money at casinos, like on, on like penny slots. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like not big money, like four or five, six hundred, like that. Mm-hmm. But. My mom wins that shit that. all the time. Penny slots, bro, just to move. Y'all don't know, bro. Y'all be like, oh, penny slots, move. Dude, my mom knows. There's an algorithm. She yeah. knows it. Nah, she you, fucking you, knows it's it. All about, it's all about how you place your bets. Yeah, she's nuts. Yeah. I, I want to tie that shit down, bro. Like, let's go. $20, I'm guaranteed to walk out with at least 350 mm-hmm. My mom, like, she'll be and like. And then uh, just go have a great night. She'll straight up tell me she's not lucky and win, like, $1,500 at a goddamn slot machine. I'm like, what is, what is the, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I ain't in a casino. It's crazy. Yeah, bro. I won 800 uh, playing roulette, though. I, I was killing it. I was just. Switching black between uh, back and forth between black and red, and then once I had a, a few, once I was up a few hundred, I started putting it on the numbers because it's one in thirty six odds. If you yeah. win one number, you get thirty six dollars off of one dollar. That's fine. But you have to put ten dollars on the table. How much money was you in on it? I uh, I started off with a hundred bucks and I walked out with eight hundred. <laughs> and I was losing a little bit, gaining a little bit. But if you do the colors, that's, that's definitely a come up. Yeah, they, if you do the colors, it's like a forty eight percent chance you'll get it right because they also have the green and the zeros, you know. Um. But if you get the color right, you're getting, uh, like, if you put 25 down, you're getting 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just I know, kept, I know about roulette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I kept doing. I just, I got 25 chips, you know, $25 chips, and I just kept doing that, getting 50 here. Then I'm, like, up a couple hundred. Then I started putting more in. And I, I don't finessing, know. I would, yeah, finessing, finessing, I was. Yeah. And then I was like, I could do that again. And then you start, then I lost. <laughs> the that's next time I came back, yeah. You got you to Yeah, know, I was so lucky that day. You got to know when to <laughs> stop. What yeah. else you got, bro? Shit. Um. Like this is another Kentucky news. Uh, French Bulldog elected mayor in this Kentucky town. Oh I didn't didn't see what town it was called. It's Fucking shit. French Bulldog. Is that a <laughs> is that a, a rabbit hash? Because I saw for yeah. a quick second I saw that they they had a they did before. Mayor, That's what they are known for. No, but they had a mayor thing going on recently, mm-hmm. like maybe less than a week ago. But I stopped watching it. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about the dogs. I don't know what dog. Then I just I went back to my. It computer. probably is Rabbit Hash because they've had a dog as their mayor before. Yeah, yeah, anyway, but now yeah. they they have a new elected French bulldog as a mayor. And I don't know if it's Rabbit Hash for sure, but it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, funny. Sometimes, bro, I miss the city, man. Fuck it with Kentucky. Sometimes it's just too much for me. Yeah, I like. I mean, I I think Kentucky is cool. I think everybody around here is pretty decent. You Kentucky know, Kentucky's cool. Just everybody's. It's it's just. And no respect. It's just. And there's a lot of places like that. Even Cincinnati's like that. Like it's just Kentucky's very one dimensional. Mm-hmm. And like we're in a good borderline for, for, between for, country and for city. For a creator, it's not a good place for a creator. No, I feel you. Because everybody just drinks and parties. That's it. But that's how the city is too. Yeah, no. So that Cincinnati oh, ain't no different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But there's our cities that have an art scene and a culture scene. Like I just need somewhere like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But like other than that, Kentucky's easy to maneuver. It's yeah, just just an easy. It's an easy place to be. But, you know what I mean, you got, if you're black, you can't go certain places. I like visiting they the city. They don't look at you funny. I wouldn't want to live in the city. I like visiting the city. But we, in, we in the more city side of Kentucky because my black ass wouldn't be in the rural areas. It's not going down. I think I like I I think we're we're at a cool spot where we're in between, like I was saying, the country and the city. You know, you're not really far from either of them. And I like going out of the country. Going out of the country is cool. Like, you can we, really, we, like, you we're know. We're definitely closer to the city, though. Yeah, we, we are. Yeah, yeah you're, we're farther out from the country, that's for sure. I mean, the closest yeah. would be Big Bone. And that's that's pretty out there, Big yeah. Bone. And it's not too far away. It's about equal distance. And Rabbit Hash is that's about equal a little distance deep. from the bridge. Then mm-hmm. no, no, Bone take Big Bone take a little farther. It's a little farther. I what knew a guy really? who owned like most of Big Bone, and he he just sold it. Um, he sold a lot of it for God. Pause on all those big bones. A couple pauses on all, all those big bones, dude. You know how big, you know, you know how big, <laughs> man, <laughs> you know how huge just, Big Bone is, though. No, nigga, I don't care. Just, it's huge. Just he go owned to most the next of it. Thing, Crazy. Bro. All right. Uh, God, Lee, bro. All right, you saw this. The Cali kayakers that ended up in the mouth of a fucking humpback whale. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That video. Did, bro. Yeah. So I put that in here, even though we, like everybody probably saw did that these video. Did motherfuckers get eight? Or did they uh, no, the two kayakers ended up uninjured, which made me happy to hear because I was like kind of nervous. I didn't even know two of them went what, in the mouth. I thought it was at least one. What if the whale there. was just playing around? No, I bet, you know, because what they. Go. 
Yeah. Well, if you saw all those birds there too, what they were they were all hunting, getting fish, yeah. and then the same spot, and that kayak just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And, like those fish were all right there, and that per kayak should have known that. But that is like I think one of my the biggest was fears. Just like, I know you ain't fish, but you kind of in my way, and I gotta eat. And it. I gotta Move, eat. motherfucker. Or all these birds are gonna eat you it. You motherfuckers <laughs> always in the way. All the water. And you at feeding time. You in my shit. <laughs> this is the only school of fish out here. Bro, that shit is so terrifying, though. Just they, showing how powerless you are. That mouth is huge. I feel it bad had for had two nature, people bro. in there. I feel bad for nature. Why? <laughs> because, bro, like, we just all up in all that shit. Yeah, we just fuck up all our shit. Like, we got everything, all this space all fucking ready. Don't bro. feel bad like, for the ocean. There's parts of the ocean that we haven't even seen I before. Get, but I still... They're bro, fine. There's a lot of animals yeah. that... Fuck that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm more nature than human any day. Humans <laughs> trash. Nature just lives... It does... Runs a course. And we be fucking up a lot of nature, dog. Yeah. Fucking deers out here in the middle. Global of warming. Sh- fucking deers out here in the middle of the goddamn street looking at you because they ain't got no goddamn no trees and shit. Oh, well, that's you know why we I mean? kill a lot of deers. Man, fuck, them fuck deers. that, man. Person, you so fucking white, bro. You <laughs> might be too white for FBS. I don't know. Continue, motherfucker. I've actually that's... never been hunting before. It actually sucks. I got my hunting license when I was younger. Then my mom doesn't like guns. My dad does. Good for you, my mom. mom my good mom is the the Your pants wearer. a piece of shit, <laughs> dude. Hunting is good is good for uh, deers because if the hunters don't hunt the deers, they're just gonna get fucking no, ripped apart they, by be, other be, animals. Not around here, ain't nothing ripping apart deer. Deer running fucking. But no, I understand you gotta control like. I and then they they're over. I, they I, get I, I, I get it, of yeah. course. But still, like it's very. If I had to, it's very humane how they do it. You don't live around a bunch of deers or a bunch of people. I probably pick the deers. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious, bro. Dude, you know what's funny? People and, fucking just fuck up shit. <laughs> And motherfuckers like you just want to ask questions all day. Have you ever had, had deer, deer, bro? Bro, can you? You're like Mr. Meeseeks. Do you know bro. how good deer That's is? What you remind me of. You're like a Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a. Do you know how good deer nah, is? Nah, bro. I always want to taste it, but bro, for some reason it's, it's always went past me. It's so fire. It's I not know, like I've any, heard, I've heard. the best meat I've ever had in my life though is elk, which is better than a deer. It's because they're just all muscle. And they're all lean. They're just and they're all natural, grass fed. You know, and like. Dude, I had it my like so my buddy's dad had elk meat. He killed an burgers. elk, bro. This I'm telling you. So he made it uh, an elk burger and literally just on your grill, didn't season it, nothing. It was the yeah. best burger I've ever had in my life. Like better right. than any restaurant. It was no, just I, a regular I, I, ass I, I burger. Try shit. Um and I went to a I went to a restaurant once in Tennessee. I think it was in Nashville, and they actually serve deer. Like you can get deer as like this like a deer steak thing, and it was pretty fire. I quick, tried a rattlesnake too. Quick question. Could you eat a deer burger with a deer looking at you the whole time? Could you eat a hamburger with a cow staring at you? For sure. Could you eat, like, a bucket of fried chicken with a chicken just looking at you the oh, whole time? Like a live one? Yeah. Like, all these animals live, and the whole time you're eating that animal, you just, they just looking at you like, Yes. You gonna really just do that? <laughs> you're next, bitch. <laughs> Ain't you something? Say something. <laughs> what if you start taking... I don't know, bro, like, it's not... I think the hardest would be the veal, it's because just, they're baby just, cows. It's just gross to me. Like, I mean, I feel you. It's like, nature, though, I man. got I got a weird, like... You know, I'm just weird about shit like so if I'm like eating a burger and a cow in front of me and I can smell the cow, you know, he'd be stanking and shit, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna want the burger. Nah, I mean Ugh. it's like what just, little Dickie said in that pillow here, talking man. thing. He's it's like what, some potato chips, man. He was like, What would you do if you left my place and were like three wolves waiting for you? They would tear your ass up. They would eat your titties and your pussy. That's, <laughs> that's all that's all they can do though. Hey, but if it, but if he's just saying though, like that's nature. They like nah. tear you apart. Yeah, we, uh, already, already you know. know. They already know. So I'm not I'm okay with that. We got care. choices though. I'm we not do. like pro vegan. I love, I love the animals. I'm just I'm just throwing out shit. I'm just asking questions. Yeah, I mean it'd be sad to have a farm. My record is 26 cheeseburgers in a week. Mm-hmm. I mean it would be sad to have a farm and having the animals there, knowing one day I'm going to kill them and eat them. I mean that would be hard. Uh, like I have family that have farms and shit. K, uh, my uh, my ex's dad actually got rabbits because rabbits, you know, they fuck like rabbits and they just constant. So it's constant food for you. Yeah. And then he uh, it's and he loves animals too, but he ended up killing all the rabbits so he can. Cook them and make them and stuff. He put them in this freezer, and the freezer somehow yeah, I don't, got I don't unplugged. Think I could do that. I mean, I, I don't know if I could either. If but I got a bunch of animals, and I've been with them years, and they like friends. They're not that. They're not that long. I mean, he waited. Got, he waited till they got, got there. This is the juices. worst part. So he killed all these rabbits. I can't remember exactly how much. It's probably like ten or fifteen rabbits. Put them in the freezer. Somehow the freezer got unplugged. And they all went bad. So it was all for nothing. He was Ugh. like, "I'm never doing that again." So now he just has rabbits as pets now because he can't do it again. Because <laughs> it was hard for him to do it, you know. Because you're killing all these rabbits. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah. You got anything else? And, uh, no, I don't want to talk about this no more. Chris Pratt, he has a goat no farm where he does that. Rabbit nightmares and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they have that cartoon. You ever seen that movie? It's like a cartoon of rabbits, and it's gory as fuck. It's like for, man, it's wild. Yeah, I think so. What I can't remember it what it's called, called. Though. Yeah, I Bro, know. you I, see them getting torn, torn apart by I'm, dogs I'm, and shit. I'm seeing something. Bro, right. that would traumatize any kid if they had no idea. 
What else you got, bro? Um, but Chris Pratt has a goat farm that he does the same shit. He even talks about it. Goat Kill, farm. He kills the goats and eats <laughs> them. Um, ben Roethlisberger has COVID. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben Roethlisberger. Next, next. Bro. So, uh, Bengals might have a ch- might have a shot. <laughs> 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 Fuck the Steelers. I don't care. <laughs> FBS Studios is not responsible for any of the comments <laughs> or statements coming out of this nigga's mouth. <laughs> Well, well, Joe, Joe Burrow. <laughs> Joe Burrow. Oh, like the Bengals did what now? The Bengals might have a shot. Man, shut up. Next, man. Hey, they are the best, worst team on there. And you they, said we gotta, that last I know. Week I mean, it's just it, facts. I mean, am, they beat the Titans, though, so they got to win now. I'm sick of this shit. They got to win now. We don't know. We, me and Shane are 10 years apart. So it's like, by the time you were 10 born, I was already like, I'm sick of this shit. So I've been sick of this shit for like 20 years. Bro, I gotta just, stay. I, just, I can't just like. I can't just not like cheer for them it, anymore. No matter not, what, bro. Like I cheer on the inside. I want them to win. Cheer on the inside. I do, bro. Like I want them to win. I still. Feel, but you chose another I team. I still feel the burn. No, I never chose another team. I grew up a Cowboy fan, oh, and okay. I've always been always like the Bengals. Oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm a Bengal fan. I'm a Cowboy fan. The Bengals mm-hmm. is the hometown, and I just watched the Cowboys like growing up, like new to team. They have great cheerleaders. So I became, you know what I mean, like in the Aikman and Emmitt Smith days, mm-hmm. in the good old days of Cowboys, though. Not not this shit. Where the fuck all these Peyton pre- Manning? Not these pre Madonnas. I like Peyton Manning. But I'm a quarterback oh, person. Peyton Manning was the Colts. I'm yeah, that's Troy Man. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were just asking, like, yeah, you like I'm Peyton Manning? Idiot. I'm an idiot. You like Peyton Manning? I just like, they have the same uniform. That's a question. Of white guy. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? You like Peyton Manning? Like, I think he's overrated, but he's good. So is Tom Brady, but he's good. I, I can't disagree with that, but I don't. You know? I can't agree It's like that shit where they're overhyped, like you like you say, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's just how I feel. Like, it's just pain. Like, just Brett Favre was like that for a while. Brett yeah. Favre was obviously great, too. Nah, I Brett mean, Favre was the man. You know? Um, no, ain't none of them niggas perfect, though. You're right. Right. But Michael Jordan's even like that. I fucking love yeah, Michael Jordan, obviously. But it was Michael Jordan's the greatest. Nah, Michael's you know? the goat, though. Yeah, I mean, I love Michael Jordan too. But unfortunately, I'm not old enough to where I could have, where I could really have watched him play for the Bulls. I watched him when he played for the Wizards. Bro, you, you know you what I'm not saying? Not watch the fucking documentary. Oh, I definitely did. Okay, well, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying. That's all you need. But now watching it, watching it. Happen, I hate that I couldn't watch that. Watching happen. it happen is totally different. Though. No, I'm sure. Like it's totally. Different. I hate that about that. I that I never would have got. It's same with Pac and Biggie. I mean, you know, they died in like '96 and '98, and I was like. Six years old in '96, I think, yeah. or, or no, three years old in '96, six years old in '98. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, well, shit. Since we touched like on the NBA, bro, um, I love the NBA. By the way, since we like sk- skimmed over that, shit's coming back December twenty second. That's pretty fire. Mm-hmm. Um, I never thought the NBA would come back that fast. It is kind of weird too to me, but I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. I'm down with that. Um. Maybe because they have a vaccine that's about to come out, they said, that has no, a 90%. It's not, it's not for that. Good. It's not for that. Well, maybe that's why maybe they feel Because even before the restart, they were talking about the, it's the scheduling. Oh. That's more important. Gotcha. Um, because if they run behind on this schedule, then it affects this, and it affects this, and it's going to the summer, then the Olympics is next year, and most players are going to play in that. So if they don't get it done, then they're going to have the motherfucking NBA ain't going to be there. There's a lot of, lot of factors why they got to do it now. Mm. And it's mostly just NBA shit. Um, but another little tidbit from the NBA: Giannis might be going to the Heat. Um, I haven't looked it up in days. It might be certified official. I don't know, but that's a powerhouse, bro, and that's scary. Mm. Giannis with fucking Jimmy Butler and fucking Bam, and they think they talking about trading Tyler Hero, um, which I don't like that because he gonna he gonna be a monster too. But it's gonna be interesting. I'm ready, bro. I love I love the NBA. I'm sorry, that's my shit. I love watching it. I. I sh- I should follow it more because it would be fun. But I I, I don't I haven't really followed. I just like watching. All games. you do is play beer pong, bro. There ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> what? I will smoke everybody you play beer pong with too. By the way, I am. I'll be seeing the Snapchat mm-hmm. videos. I will smoke them all. All I need to see form. Y'all got trash. All y'all got trash form. I'm just playing. I just like I just really like beer pong, bro. I'm so good at beer pong now. I just really like. I got that two- last video you saw. They were all playing flip cup, which I hate. But everybody plays flip cup because a lot of people can play at once. Where beer pong, you get four people playing yeah, at a time. Yeah. So that's why. It's, and I hate when that happens. I still got I'm two custom beer pong <laughs> tables that, and I tried for two years straight to do a, a beer pong tournament, and just. Never really got there. We did that that night. It was pretty cool. Everybody threw in uh, five bucks. The pot was a uh, hundred, and the winning team got to split that. So that was cool. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, and and the and the teams were random. You didn't get to pick your team. So they, like, it was drawn out of hat, and I got, I got this girl. She she's cool, but she sucked. So she kind of ruined it for me. I mean, like, dude, I hit the rebuttal. Like, she's cool, but she sucked. I hit the rebuttal like four times. I'm like, god damn it! And I so we lost our first game. And then my yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah, the one yeah. throwing the party, just happens to get matched up with my other buddy. So they're also both good. They played together before. And I'm like, I mean, you're all, they, they lost, though. It made me happy. Bro, I would smoke. Fixed. I would <laughs> smoke all of them. All Shane's friends. All you niggas. 
<laughs> get smoked. God, I want to play some up. Yeah, me too. But we should um, just play each other. You got any more BS? Um, Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Nope. That's it. Oh, nope. That's it. Can it live? Can it news? All that shit. Everybody's heard, uh, and this is not really cannabis news, but it's you know drugs, man. Whatever. Oh, uh, buy them, going. Oregon decriminalized all drugs, you know, heroin, cocaine, all that shit. Yeah, they can just stay over there. As long as they stay over there, I don't care what they do. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, like, honestly, it's just it, it don't help to arrest motherfuckers. Like, there's a whole philosophy behind the idea of it. There are places that have done it like that, like countries outside the U.S. that treat it a different way. Instead of just arresting everybody to do it. They do it a different way and try to bring down the numbers of people that want to fucking do drugs. Mm-hmm. It's totally different. I think uh, it's not arresting you because you're fucked up on it is one. Th- I think that's stupid. If you're yeah. fu- you're already fucked. But I mean, if you have, but it's like, not a- legal. Don't get it twisted. It's not legal. Like you can't just go get a pack and be out here flipping that shit. Like you still gonna do all the time that comes with that shit. Yeah, they definitely should be taking it from them at least. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, not, like don't enable it. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's you know, it's it's politics. So you know what I mean? It's 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 small town politics. So it's a little. There's stipulations all over the place. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, like they, they but are, people they, definitely ran to it like, oh shit, we about to go have a coke party in Oregon, <laughs> right? Like, it don't really work like that. Yeah, I don't. But uh, they'll still take it from you. If you have a certain amount, I'm sure you'll get in trouble. If you're caught yeah. trafficking, you're gonna get in you trouble. Still, probably shouldn't have it. You just yeah, yeah. Get still gonna kill you. Yeah. And then it kind of makes it more scary because that gives it more incentive for people to be cutting shit because now it's legal, so they're gonna be trying to make more money. You know what I mean? Like it's not legal, but decriminalize. You might not. Get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta be me? careful with the legal word. Dude, yeah, just, that's a whole other context. But yeah, man. I don't, like That's I said, wild. people think it's gonna be the party central now. I guess I don't know. Um, shout uh-huh. out Sean Kemp, former Seattle SuperSonic. That might be you know too old for some of y'all. I don't know. I don't. The age range that listens is like his age range to mine. Um, he opened the first black owned cannabis store in Seattle, Main Street Marijuana. That's fire. Um, if y'all don't know, it's kind of a hard industry to get into, like anything else for a nigga out here. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of hard industry to get into. You know what I mean? For us, for us folks. So, he, into, uh, so he's he's getting into dispensary? No, in the cannabis industry, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's got those same doors on it as everything else. Um, Didn't know that. Yeah, but he's one he got the first one in Seattle, and that's fire. We got a partnership with like some other guys. But that's dope. I thought that was dope. I think it's dope with anybody getting the fucking weed business for some reason. I think it's dope. Like, even a even, business, even really. when I saw Carlos Carlos Santana do like that's fire. Mm. It was somebody else. Um Mike Tyson does too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been, we've been. It was somebody different though. Wiz Khalifa, I think, has his. I don't know if he has his business. I think he has his own strain. I only know that because on Joe Rogan's yeah, podcast, Wiz was one of the first ones to have uh, his first strain, bro. Yeah, and, and he then, said that's him and Snoop. He's like, you know, how people have their cigarettes. Like, this is what I have. Yeah. Like, this is mine. <laughs> like, it's a bunch of motherfuckers in the NBA fucking that got their own. You know what I mean? Brand. That's wild. Oh, that's pretty own. wild. Especially how looked down upon it. It, it has been forever. Like, NBA, you're not allowed to be NBA doing is that. Different, bro. Well, like I mean, the fuck. NBA, the NBA is the most socially conscious. NBA is a great league, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, that is true. Dennis they Robin is crazy. That, they don't be on that bullshit, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the was. NFL. It's not like the MLB, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's totally different. When we're, we're talking about, about Michael Phelps, first, Phelps that's too. That's why they're the first to speak up about everything. Because, I mean, Adam Silver is not, he's he's a person, bro. Or mm-hmm. at, least, at least really good at acting like one. Mm-hmm. But, hey, I love that nigga. He a beast. He ain't scared to do what the rest of these old billionaires ain't going to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But he ain't he ain't the old foggy though, so that's I guess that's part of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Definitely more conscious. Um, that's all I got for the can of live. It ain't much weed news going on. Like everybody's just trying to get legal. That's everything that's going. When you go to High Times, we go to Leafly and look at the news, and that's where I go. Everybody's just trying to get an illegal bag. Um, but we gonna get into this main topic, or do we want to get into entertainment, Shay? Uh, I think I think I think we gonna get into. This main topic. The main topic is a collection of things, guys. Okay? We're talking TV series. Some of our favorite TV series. What kills a TV series? The worst series. The most overrated. And these are some shits I'm going to just ask Shane. Um, We're going to give our opinions. I know how we do this shit. We're we going to discuss. It's a discussion. FBS podcast. Hey, Virginia Sugar Shane. Shane. Hmm. I want to start here with the obvious. What is the best series ever made? The best mm. television, tele, 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 television. My opinion, or if you, do I, or what I think what in general. You, what you think? Like you're the guy working at a magazine. Not my opinion, but I think Seinfeld for sure. Which I do love Seinfeld. It's not my favorite though, but I think that's probably the most successful TV series ever. Has to be. I mean, dude, he's worth nine hundred million dollars because I feel of like that you, show. I feel like you're right, but I feel like Friends might have it too. Though. No, I think Seinfeld blows Friends out of the water. Has to. But I think that is the most on overrated TV shows, Friends, for sure. 
Overrated? Hell yeah. I don't know, bro, because that was the first thing. Either that, that or Big Bang Theory. That was the first little bit. <laughs> that was the first little bit of white comedy that got me. I was liking it when I was. I hate. I hate shows it's that have laughing in the background. Fuck, yeah. You know, when I when I was bro, younger and I watched hey, it. Bro, don't jump. Don't jump the gun, bro. Because. Sorry. That's crazy. No, no, it's it's it's, it's fine. But I got something about the last track though too. Yeah. Like but I, I bet Seinfeld is the number one. I, I bet anything because just ex- based on how rich Jerry Seinfeld is because of that show, yeah. it has to be. He I remember. Well, I remember back in the day, the top three were that I can remember in like a top five list was Home Improvement, and Tim Allen was the most paid on the list at the time because mm-hmm. that blew my fucking mind. Home yeah. Improvement. I did like Home Improvement. Home Improvement, Seinfeld, and Friends. See, I think Seinfeld blows. Does Cast of Seinfeld out. got like eleven million per episode? Tim Allen got like fuck, and you think Seinfeld still plays? Home Improvement doesn't really play anymore. All that shit still plays. Well, I mean, they probably do, but yeah, Friends all, definitely it does. St- it all still plays. Seinfeld is like, it's everywhere. like three different ABC networks now, bro. All that shit still plays. It, it all, it's all, it's all playing at the same rate. All them cable channels that nobody watches, mm-hmm. just all that shit still plays. Mm-hmm. Wrote a whole channel dedicated to fucking Impractical Jokers, <laughs> and it literally just plays Impractical Jokers, bro. It never plays nothing else. That shit's insane to me. That is, I watch because it. I watch it. That shit's. Funny. There's all because they. Well, I was gonna say they used to have it on. Was it on Spike. Netflix? I think it's Spike. They used to have it on Netflix or something. And then after I watched them all, like I mean, I, I was like done. I was like, fuck. <laughs> like I'm not gonna. You can't keep watching that show because I already know all the pranks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It's fucking wild. I, I still want to see that movie. Um, talk about the best series. What do you think? In your preference, what is the best series? Um, and we gonna go sitcoms. My bad, I should have said sitcoms. My favorite, it's always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'm sure, like I, I just think. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel love like, it. I feel it's like I've sunny. asked you that too. I feel like I've asked you that. And it didn't used to be. I don't, I don't know. Like it just, it's, it's so fucking smart, dude. It really is. And it's, it doesn't have the laugh track. Yeah. And I love how they're all assholes. I love anything where people are assholes because I think that's the funniest kind of comedy. It's dark comedy. Yeah. You know, they go all the fuck out, bro. And yeah. they, they talk real shit. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love that. Like they even have a whole, they have an episode. Uh, the gang tries to w- win a reward, and the whole episode is based on trying to get the best bar award because they're bar owners. But what they're really saying is, it's always sunny. Has been around for so long, and they're so popular, but they still haven't won an award. Yeah. So all the shit talking they're saying in the show is based on them not getting an award yet. You know, That's which is fire. hilarious. And at the end of the show, Charlie is like sings a song and saying, uh, "You can all go fuck yourself." And he goes, "We don't need your fucking go- <laughs> awards and <laughs> spitting and shit." What the fuck? So you know what I mean? They they just go all the fuck out. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And it's it's funny because they go into one bar, the bar that wins like the most awards, and it's all bright and shiny and fucking uh, everybody's all corny and every and there's laugh factors like all the audiences of the bar is laughing at the corny ass jokes from the bartenders. Right. They're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And like, "Why do people like this?" So they're talking about those bullshit shows like uh, Big Bang Theory and you know what I'm saying. And that's funny though, because that show was created uh, because of Friends. So like, he, bro, when, I like Big Bang Theory though. I know, but it's I'm like, not a big like. Sh- it wasn't like because of Sheldon. I don't know, but bro, it gets like, corny too. I hate the jokes. No, it where, definitely you know? it definitely gets corny after some seasons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just like I don't know. I like that shit to chill. But like, you know me, bro. I got lanes mm-hmm. when it comes to that shit. Like, I like everything. Like, I'm probably not the best critic because I like everything. Mm-hmm. Well, this this could unless, be a- unless I don't like it, right? And then it's a fucking rap. So. I, I probably the best judge. Well, this thing I saw, it, it, this is definitely opinion based, but it makes sense to me. But it said it was like um, shows about a uh, show about dumb people for smart people, and that was um, it's always sunny. And then shows about dumb people for dumb people, and that was Friends. Yeah. And then shows about smart people for dumb people was Big Bang Theory. And then shows about smart people for smart people was Rick and Morty. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that makes sense to me. You know what I'm saying? I think the Rick and Morty category is off. Because they're, uh, but, like, but like, there's a lot of subtlety in Rick and Morty. Like, they do use a lot of like oh, some, yeah, uh, subliminal you, you gotta, shit. You gotta know some like, shit. Like, I mean, like, it's so, Rick and Morty's pretty goddamn smart. Yeah, you, you gotta know some shit. And it took me a while to get on that bandwagon. I'm still not on the band. Like, that was one of those shows that I felt like was overrated. Like, everybody talked about it. I was like, I don't even want to watch it. I, and, I hate, and I hate when people say that. Yeah. Too. And I was like, I don't even want to watch it. Anybody say Rick and Morty's overrated? I'm like, you're just stupid. I'm sorry. I'm automatically thinking you're stupid. It was like, uh, but it was going on. Like, everybody was talking about it forever. And no, I was just I'm, like, I'm, I'm not I, trying to watch you it. You know, I get that. Yeah. And then, yeah. I, and then I ended up watching. I was like, yeah, this is funny. But see, I, I, was one, <clears> I was one of the people that caught it from the beginning. So the hype missed me. Mm-hmm. Like, I was in the hype. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, I was an adult swim person. I just found it on adult swim. Mm-hmm. Nobody told me or none of that shit. Yeah. It was just like, oh shit, what's this? But it, yeah, it's, it's cool. definitely not bad. 
I was being like, I was like, fuck it's that, fire. The, creator, the creator's a little fucked up and creepy. But. Yeah, and I, when I started watching it, finally when I finished, when I was getting into it, is when the creator comes out with that that crazy video that made that canceled him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I was like, fuck, man. Uh, <laughs> most overrated TV series. It could be anything. You don't have to be laugh track. You don't have to be a comedy. Just the most overrated series. Mine is Trailer Park Boys. And I know you're gonna hate that, but I don't even think that's overrated though. I don't think it's this, talked this about. Is my, ever. This is my opinion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say like in because general, nobody it's, talks it's, about that show. Yeah, but it's still got a fucking huge fan base. That's so funny. It's got a crazy fan base. Didn't you see that it's video? Just, I just it's just like it's just like Broken Lizard. They make fire movies, but nobody ever talks about them mm-hmm. until they make a Super Troopers or a Beer Fest or whatever they decide to make. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I do love Trailer and see like I watched that on before more, any most, hype. Most overrated first. Most overrated. Um, no, I know you do. I know I know you love Trailer Park Boys. Those are shit. I actually showed it to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I'm trying you, to think, you tried to show it to me. Mm. I'm like that's that's a little far for me. That's a little too far white. <laughs> There's a hell of black people in that show. It don't matter, man. Just the, <laughs> they're the, just in Canada. That's all it concept, is. But they're then, just in Canada. That's just the con. <laughs> it's just the concept. It seems too corny. But then I said, I say that after we just had a friends conversation. But what's your most overrated? I guess Friends. I think Friends is overrated. I can I can see that. Yeah, because it's not on none of my list. I just think it was funny. I was trying to think of something that it's would got some it funny. Moments. It's got some funny moments. Um, most underrated. Um, I got a, I got a really weird one, and I'm probably gonna get made fun of for it. I don't care. Mm, mine is be, mine is being human. That's a show. Being human. Yeah, oh, it, it was it was one in the UK and it's a US version, and it's one of those you know werewolf, uh, monster, ghost, vampire, I think type movies. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Yeah, that's but it's cool. like it's like they live the real life and then they end up becoming friends and then a bunch of wild shit happened and you get a backstory and just shit get really real. You know what I mean? Go mm-hmm. from being like some chill like. Coffee shop shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh damn, is everybody dead? Oh yeah, everybody dead. Okay, <laughs> cool. We're all dead now. Ooh, I know one. Underrated. My name is Earl. That was a good one. My name is Earl's Fire. Bro. Yeah, I have, I forgot all about that show too. That's one of them shows that you had to go into syndication for yeah. me to watch it. It just kind of popped up in my head just now. I love my name. My is name Earl. is Earl. Um, change gears a little bit, man. I was randomly, I don't know what what put the thought into my head. We're still on TV, but. I was like, is Maury, is Maury Povich still on? Maybe I saw a Facebook something. I was like, is Maury Povich still doing like actual new shows? He is. He just renewed the show for two more seasons. That Fe- guy's still living? February of this year. That's what I was saying. <laughs> like, So like January or February of this year, he just renewed the show for two more seasons. Um, And then I started thinking about all the shows like that. The Sally Jesse Raphael, the Jesse Jones, Jenny Jones. Steve Wilkos. You know what I mean? Like not even Steve Wilkos. He don't count because he just, he, he was on Jerry's coattails. But like Jerry Springer's and all that shit. And I was thinking, like, could that sh- would that shit, you know, I was wondering if shit lasts now in this cancel culture. Would that shit last now? Like, if it was all a new thing, if it never existed before 2020, could, you, could you make a Jerry Springer? Could you make a Maury Povich? Could you come Definitely out, not Jerry Could you Springer. come out the woodwork with a fucking Jenny Jones? Remember Jenny Jones? Mm-hmm. With the real or fake? Every show was like, are the titties real or fake? Mm-hmm. With these fucking big-breasted motherfuckers just walking down the aisle. Titties jiggling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, out of all the, I think Jerry Springer would be the number one that couldn't be made because they even do the shit where the trans will would tell, to, will come out and be like, "I was born a man." It would have to be, and a, then they do have to be a cable ass. show. It still probably yeah. make it. You know, I mean, that that show is totally against LGBTQ. Bro, blah, blah, the blah. KKK situations, like it was a whole. They had a whole lot. God, of I love when Doctor Evil was on that unsavory guest, bro. That's so fire. <laughs> on Awesome Powers, they had the KKK, read, fucking listen, Doctor Evil. He's not mentioned a lot. But fucking Michael Myers is a goat. Oh yeah, he's amazing. Michael Myers is a fucking like when it comes to movies, bro. Or just being a character, mm-hmm. he's a goat, bro. I told you that one shit Terminal with him and Margot Robbie. Mm-hmm. He was a whole other person, bro. That shit is so fire. One of the most slipped on. I'm gonna do. He was in in Glorious Bastards at one scene, and not a lot of people noticed it. Yeah, uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, he was one of the uh, Nazi dudes. Yeah. Um, but nah, bro, y'all still got to watch Terminal. I'm going to mention it every week until I get some kind of comments in this motherfucker and say, all right, we watched Terminal and that shit was fire. It's so good, bro. God damn. Anyway, what, that's, what was your most underrated? Uh, my I, name, said my, my name I said my name is Earl. My name is Earl. You got something else? Did you want to change your mind? The way you said that. Mm. Like, maybe it's, it's always cool. sunny, too. I mean, I think it's always sunny. It's totally underrated. Nah, I think... I think it's always Sunday. Got his cult fan base. It's going to keep it alive. Forever. It definitely has a cult fan. They have some stands, for it's, sure. It's never going nowhere. But, uh... Dude, but new people sometimes like like what like haven't I, watched it, you know I what I'm saying? Or won't, which I don't get it. I don't I, get it. I can see what you mean. It's too good. I can see what you mean. Um, 
But now we were talking about Mori and Jerry and all that shit too. What's the best car, car, um, animated series? Best animated series? Yeah. Are you talking about like Saturday morning cartoon ish or like Family Guy, Simpsons? Shit like that, yeah. I mean, any really any cartoon, really, I guess. I mean, I'd have to say mine is South Park. I think South Park has to be my favorite animated. Honestly, anything. bro, my shit was fucking um. Fuck. It was on County Central. It was the house full of superheroes. Oh, um, drawn together. That shit's fire. This shit's so fucked up, bro. But like, it's one of those fucked up shows ever. Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> but that's my. That's like that Betty Boop is disgusting. And then she's just oh, fat yeah, she and trifling. disgusting. And then um, what was she it? Was Foxy. Fucking ratchet. And then the bitch is like ratchet. Ariel. And then the gay uh, dude who's like Link, I think. <laughs> that show was a lot. That show was definitely it, a little it, Pikachu. It definitely did too much, but that was my shit, bro. Because every every time I wanted to give me some wow factor, I got it. Yeah. Like it always shocked me. Mm-hmm. South Park is up there too, but like you know what they gonna do. South Park is so. You good. know what Matt and Trey gonna do, and they brilliant with it. So like so brilliant. But for something to come and go, that that was my shit. I love Robot Chicken. Do you count that as animated? It has to be. Yeah, because I was gonna say the PJs. Yeah. What was that one show with the French fries and the Coke and the meatball? Aqua Teen Hunger That's Force. That's it. Yeah. Fire. In yeah. uh, space, coast to coast. Like, I just I'm trying to remember space, all this. Space, ghost, coast, coast. That's yeah. that's that's old. old, old, old I always remember it from all of, like uh, Adult Swim. I think they did revamp that though. I think they did revamp it, and they brought it back. And but it was real short. Yeah, oh, they did. Boondocks. They did on Adult Swim. Oh fuck. Yeah. That ain't, that ain't, good that ain't underrated though. What fuck's know what that is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I had a dude I worked with at Hopper House that looked like Uncle Ruckus, and he was aware. <laughs> like, he fucking just put it. He was like, yeah, it's true. I know. God, like, he had that man. wonky eye and everything. <laughs> Boom. Next question. What kills a TV series? And how long should a series run? That's what kills it is going too long. Like, Walking Dead has killed it for me already. I heard that the new season with the Whispers is pretty fire, but I don't even I, feel I did, like I getting back st- into this I just this started shit, season nine. And I like probably five episodes play. I didn't watch a lick of it. Yeah. Every time I looked over, Michonne and Rick was in the bed making out, being lovey dovey. I'm like, what is this? It's so shit? weird. Like this is fucking. Trash. In the comic books, it's like the Michonne's with um the the king. Yeah. With the the king with the tiger and shit, and fucking Daryl. I mean, we're Daryl. Rick is with um Andrea. Like she's not even dead. Carol and this one. And Carol, Carol and the king do. Yeah. Are kind of like kicking it, but the king dude is like, I want to marry you. Yeah. And she's like. Shut your fucking mouth, you son of. This is the apocalypse, <laughs> bitch. I'm Carol. Like, I'm Carol. And in the comic books, Carol uh, commits suicide because she was trying to have a threesome with Rick and Andrea, and they t- turned her down, so she killed herself. So she's a pussy in the comic books. They made her a badass in the show. Get the fuck out. Isn't that nuts? Since we own it, I forgot something in the BS. Um, the Carol and Daryl spinoff of Walking Dead. What do you think? What do you think? I think that's just audience grab. I just money grab. I think he's doing too much. This yeah, way too much. Fear of the Walking Dead. Just for Daryl, mostly. Fear of the Walking Dead is fire that you left it at that. Mm-hmm. Because Morgan had his They just went Daryl in there. Morgan's just went part bad. in uh, Fear of the Walking Dead was amazing. Like, that's what I've heard. Morgan, if, like, they, and if anything, Morgan should have had a piece because he literally bridged everything. Mm-hmm. Like, without Morgan's story, all this shit would have fell apart because mm-hmm. he bridged it all. He got... Uh, and he got corny near the end of walking, like the, when I started, when I, when I was yeah, because he tried off. to get nice and shit. Remember, you know, I mean, they they were just writing him corny, even like how he would do his like his fighting moves and shit. I was just like, I mean, it, he used it used to be dope, and then he started doing this. Just it was weird. Bro, I, don't, don't be hating I was on, picking don't on, be it. Hating on me. I know I'm being picky, but I just noticed a difference. Like I know they like changed it up and like made it all like just fucking corny, like stupid jokes, like just how Disney does shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they just started De- Walking Dead just started getting way too corny for me. Disney does ruin everything, but we are going to talk about the Mandalorian. Um, who is the most hated? And I think it's like the last question, August. But how long should the series run? You answer that one. How long should it run? I think it depends on the show. You know, I think Breaking Bad hour, five seasons was hour, good. Hour long drama, yeah. Something you like know, that. the boys being five seasons, I'm pretty happy with that. Thirty I, thirty minutes sitcom. Game of Thrones. I wish they went to ten seasons, and then like so then they would have had more time to finish it off better. Than having to rush through with it like they had to because they only had a certain amount of seasons to do. And I feel like should have ended the season before. I mean, but I think there there there's so much to Game of Thrones. I think they could have there there could have like yeah, but if they wasn't they was never going to do all of it anyway. So they should have ended it with a bang. But that season ep- before, they could have probably added another two episodes of all that filler shit from the last season. That's what I'm saying. There was eight and episodes been, and been done with it. 
I mean, well, I didn't actually, you know what? Like I didn't turned mean, that eight episodes no, no, no. into two fucking good you're episodes. You're right, you're right. Actually, I, I, meant, I, I said that wrong, actually. What I meant, uh, the, they finished it off with uh, the, a good amount of seasons, not enough episodes on that last season that fucked it up. I, you know what I mean? That yeah. That's what uh, that's what I was getting confused. Like, the eight, the, it was eight of filler. They could have made that yeah. two, two episodes in the last season and yeah. ended it with a bang, or really made some good episodes, mm-hmm. like you said, made it longer. And like actually put some content in there. It yeah, was all bullshit. The last episode literally, that shit, bro. That's like the worst build up for a letdown. Ever. It really was because like the last episode literally had the war with the Walking Dead, and it literally had every single thing that you were waiting for all in one hour episode. Like they didn't even make the episode longer, and it just seemed like they just were like, all right, we just gotta jam everything into this last episode because hey, we can't we have enough. Yeah, like that, that pissed me off. We like, spent eight it, episodes bullshit, and, and I don't know. even care. The, like the, the, the who they made, I won't say it then. Whoever that who they made King pissed me the fuck off. Like I think that's a stupid idea. They ruined it for me. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. I'll just say it then. It was they, the fact that they made Bran the King oh. after all these stories. I wasn't mad at that. That I was because he's the three eyed raven, and he had it as a cool thing. But he, like he said the whole time, he didn't want to be king. And out of nowhere, at the end, they're like, he's like, why do you think I came all this way? I'm like what? Like you know, they just like they that wasn't the original well, no, initial no, no, plan. No, no, I know no. that he had to. He had to. Well, the way they played it is that he had to say that for everybody else to fucking go as hard as they would. He had to not want to be it for everybody else. But he said, "I'm not brand anymore." He goes, "That that part of my life is gone." Now he, all of he a sudden, a, he is brand now. He's and now he's a king. Like I mean, they they changed his story up. Yeah, like was, he was supposed to be way bigger than what he was. Yeah, they fucked up the, you linear, feel me? the linear or something. I yeah. thought he was gonna be the the person who defeated the walk, like the the White Walkers and all that he shit. He could have been way more badass. With he was supposed to be. He could have been you way know? more obese. So that was dumb. And that then, three-hour Raven shit is fire. Yeah, and then there was so much more he could have been. And then how they, and then what they did with Jon Snow by making him just go back to the fucking wall and being a crow again. I was like, are you really? And, and now that you know that he is the the son of ice and fire, all I, these things. I didn't like that. That made me really mad. Like what he did with Daenerys, I was cool with that. I was like, damn, that's dope. And, I don't like. You know, I don't like how she turned down. Which I knew. I saw that coming from the first season, but. I don't like how much yeah, of a the mad bitch queen. she turned into. Yeah, but she was supposed to be the Mad Queen. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of, like, I was cool you, with yeah, that. You knew it was coming, but yeah. I, it made me so mad. Yeah, I really liked her character. And I hated and how then Cer- I ended up hating her. I hated how uh, um, um, Cersei and um, Jamie and Jamie died. Fuck, them. Fuck that, bro. How they just died by some rubble. They, they needed to get their heads chopped off. They, she did at least. Jamie kind of redeemed himself. She needed to get it like. But Jamie worse. should at least went out like a soldier because he was a beast. Yeah, I thought that he was, was going to try to he, kill her. He was nasty, of course, because he was fucking with his sister. He was a weird, yeah, but that was like not a big deal back a, then. Yeah, he was a weirdo. But I say back then, it kind of was. They weren't telling everybody. Yeah, it, yeah, sure. yeah. Can't mean, be so, doing that in the royalty. So it still was kind of blasphemous. Like, yeah, unless you're a Targaryen, they don't give a fuck. He was weird, but. He, he should have went out fighting or something, bro. Dude, that made me so mad. It was just the roof that caved on him, and then it took Tyrion two seconds to un, to move some rocks to find them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, I, I was super bummed with that because um, Cersei is that her? Was that her name? Cersei. She deserved a way worse death, and she got like a beautiful death with her with her brother who she loved. Like, fuck yeah, that. That's shame. You know what I'm that's saying? yeah. She she got like a beautiful ending. Yeah, that was like a Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, fuck that. Like, how how she get? That? And I loved her as a villain. She was like the woman Darth Vader, dude. She was probably my favorite villain of the whole show. I loved her. So to answer the question, guys, how long should this series run? It should run as long as it takes to get everything out before you fucking fuck it up. Yeah, that's just just don't. Do it, do it, do it right. The Walking Dead's too long. I'll say that. Lost went too long. It's Super, not their Supernatural fault. Supernatural's going too long, but they're doing a good job. They mm-hmm. have found the way to finesse their way through the seasons. I'm pissed that Ozark is not going any long. What the fuck happened with that? I, th- I thought I thought I heard someone about it another season. A closing season. Oh, really? Yeah. Or maybe I heard it was like a, one episode or a movie or something. But the fact that they're canceling okay, that maybe pisses maybe me off because that show yeah. is so good and they're only on, they've only had two seasons. That's not fair. You know what I mean? It's a great show. I don't get how why they're canceling it. It's always a really good show. It's always a really good Jason show. Jason Bateman's the shit. Um, Who's the most hated TV personality, bro? Uh, no, Nicholas no. Cage and <laughs> Tom Cruise. No, people love Nicholas Cage. Fuck Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's my most. But that, that's movies. I'm talking about like TV personality. Oh. Like an anchor man, oh, talk uh, show host. Uh, easy. Daytime easy. talk show. Kramer. Oh yeah, from Seinfeld. Yeah, I'm, I'm going daytime television. I'm gonna say Wendy Williams. More than Kramer. You remember what he did? Yeah, yeah. The race, <laughs> the, the racist shit. Yeah, he went on. The, he was a he's a comedian. He went on the Laugh Factory and literally said the N word like 15 times. Yeah, <laughs> like bro. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> that stuff like is what people more hate it. I feel like it's one of them news anchors from one of them fucked up networks. That oh, yeah, the news has to be involved it's too. Gotta be. Sure. No, I mean TV personality. Period. Just anybody, oh, okay. on t- anybody on TV. Fuck man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that could be endless. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just pick Wendy Williams because she's in the spotlight. You know what I mean? 
Because people fucking they let her have it. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Isn't she the, is she the? I'm trying to remember who Wendy Williams is. Is, is she with the, Was she the cook? No, no, she's the. Uh, you talking about? You talking about Rachel Ray? She's, no, not Rachel Ray. I know who that is. There was a she's female. The, she's the daytime talk show host. Oh, the big tall chick who passed out on stage. They got everybody say she's like a man. <laughs> I'll have to look her up. No, there was a girl. She had her own cooking channel too, and she said something racist or whatever. And um, that's Paula Dean. I mean, she has white hair and shit or whatever. Yeah, is that it? It's okay. Yeah, no, and then wait, she apologized. She just hit me with a rock and Wendy killed Williams me. Is the, is the big black lady. That oh, I know who she is now. Yeah, I know yeah. she is now. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Took me a second. I, I'm gonna say like I ain't, I don't I don't I don't give a fuck about people that hate them like that. But I think she gets a lot of fucking hate. Roseanne might be getting a lot of hate. Which is I love Roseanne. Bro, we did a show about Roseanne uh, when we first started this, and uh, a few people got upset about. Cause we was talking about Roseanne, and, like she said some racist stuff, and we just talked about it. And, like people got upset that we talked about Roseanne. I'm like, well, she kind of she kind of did her own thing. Like, she, yeah, she did and it you to know, herself. well, when I saw, I've actually seen a bunch of interviews with her, and she was on Ambien really bad. Yeah, you I know? heard about that. Yeah, and then she said she doesn't remember doing that tweet, and she said she goes, and be honest with you, I didn't even know she was black. I thought she was Jewish like me, <sighs> so I just said she looked like Planet of the Apes mixed with something Jewish or whatever. Had no idea she was black or whatever. So I, it's like she had the same. It's like so she's basically saying she didn't mean to, and she apologized for it. I, I don't. I don't believe nothing because um, I don't know you, lady. <laughs> Roseanne, like Roseanne, is pretty real though. You know, like that's what made her so popular. Was, I don't, I'm just. I mean, I get it, but I just don't. For anybody, even my favorite people, like I don't know. I don't know Roseanne. I don't. Yeah, so personally, yeah, you're yeah, right. So I don't know. But this is just crazy. ABC I don't know was what like. She was on. Well, as she signed off, she was like, she she accepted it. She was like, yeah, I'll sign it away. You know, I wouldn't want the show to go because of me, and I apologize. So she signed her the shit away to ABC, and they're like, oh, we'll we'll get we'll tell you, thank you, all these things. And then they're like, Roseanne's a fucking racist. And after she signed that, isn't that crazy? Like they totally got her, bro. Well, like it is what it is, Roseanne. You gotta be more careful. Be more careful. <laughs> yeah, be, that's, that's a lot of motherfuckers take Ambien out there. They ain't no. Like, but she had the mo- She had the number one, uh, you know. Um, Fucking sitcom, yeah. I couldn't. I don't know why well, I you still can't go around calling people monkeys and shit. I'm just saying, man. You know, you know what it is. I know. I mean, according to her, she how, didn't. How long you been on TV, guy? But did you see that lady? Like, I wouldn't. I mean, I I, I see what she was saying. She even, wasn't no, noticing. She's know, not really black. Know, I don't even know what she was talking about. I'm just not defending nobody. That I don't know why she said it. I'm not going to defend anybody because I don't know what people. Are I'm not defending. I'm just explaining what I heard from. I know Roseanne's show was fire growing up. Yeah, I, I used to love the Roseanne show. And that little kid DJ just pissed me off. He was like a he was like a real life Caillou. <laughs> he used to make me so fucking mad. I was soft ass motherfucker. I just love John Goodman too. He's John a Goodman's a beast, bro. We yeah. never got to talk you, about him. We got to go. we got to do an honorable mention. You got to watch Righteous Gemstones. I'm telling you, with Danny McBride and John Goodman and Adam Devine, like you seen will that, love bro. it. There's only one I season. Like, I feel like I've seen it. There's a show that's an underrated show, and I wish it got more views. <sighs> and so is Eastbound and Down, Vice Principals, all yeah, of Danny McBride shit. No, Vice Principals, I know I've yeah, seen. Yeah, underrated. I know I haven't seen Eastbound and Down. Eastbound and Down is. Literally one of the greatest comedy shows ever made. Yeah, I'm just not feeling the uh, setting. Oh man, it's uh, and it's Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, Will Ferrell. They got hell of fucking people yeah. that get in there, bro. It's and, and it's true comedy. Like I, I'm sure you've seen the bloopers. Did you ever see the bloopers where Will Ferrell's wearing that white wig, and Danny McBride and Craig Robinson are staring at each other, and Will Will Ferrell's literally like looking at him. No, no, bro. And he everything Will Ferrell's saying, it's it's pretty much a game between Danny McBride and Craig Robinson who can not laugh from Will Ferrell, bro. It's, yeah. He's like, trying not to laugh. He's off. like, I feel it in my plums, <laughs> deep Swedish. <laughs> he's like, it's blue or something like that. I don't what even know, bro. He's killing him. Fuck, bro. He's like, I turned the heat up to eighty-two with me and my wife Donna, and it was all sweaty. <laughs> he goes, my son walks in. She goes, No, leave Gabriel. He goes, No, you let him watch. <laughs> let the boy watch. I am done. killing them. Bro, <laughs> bro. Shut up, bro. He needs to learn how I learn from my father. Let me check. Let me check this out, man. I think. Uh, I think that's it, man. Yeah, I still, I still can't believe Maury Povich is still on TV, though. Doing the same shit. I can't believe Alex Trebek was still doing that up until he passed. You know yeah, that? Like, uh, I saw, I heard that there's like five decades, bro. I heard there's a documentary of him behind stage, like in the fetal position in pain, and then would go out and do that show. Like, isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's fine. And I heard he died, too, uh, with his wife watching the sunset. That's fire. Bro. That's beautiful. Uh, that's horrible that's to hear. Goddamn. All right, <laughs> Trebek. Um, I do not want to see another host of Jeopardy. But I know it's gonna happen, mm. but that's gonna be weird. Yeah, they have they're let they're playing his <clears throat> most recent episodes because that's what he wanted. They said I think it's like thirty two episodes or some shit. I heard that on like on the radio today or something. Hell yeah, R. I. P. Alex Trebek, man, shit crazy. Sean oh. Connery, King Von. Yeah, Sean, we did Sean <laughs> Connery last week. 
uh, it was King Von and King Von shit, bro. Apparently, somebody like they took pictures of his body in the morgue, bro, and leaked that. I shit. saw that on Twitter, but I didn't see the pictures. Yeah, I saw I don't, someone. I don't want to see the pictures. Yeah, me either. That's I did, I did see. I scrolled past something that showed the face, and I just kept going. They did that with XX um, <sighs> uh, Tenacious. Or, uh, uh, God, disrespect sorry. XXS Tentacion Sorry I didn't really listen to him that much That I was my favorite bro He was brilliant People don't get it Um, People hear one song from that nigga bro He I man, tried it with a few And then I watched one video Where he like uh, he, did, he did more than rap though bro like, I know I But beast, The bro. one video I watched uh, He literally hung a five year old white kid Yeah I saw that And I was like what the fuck Like that was my first impression And yeah. then I tried to listen to some of his songs listen, I liked li- a couple Listen to the song and the point The point of, the point of that was is that I didn't listen to the song. The dude, the, the, I, the I was shown what, that part. That mm. was an art piece. The point yeah. of that was... It's supposed to make you uncomfortable. No, it's like, how do you feel to see one of your kids being killed on TV when we ain't there supposed to be mad about seeing ours? I think everybody would agree that seeing any kid die is awful. Well, though. yeah, but at the time, nobody gave a fuck. And it was it was spoke up just like when all this shit started happening. It was like, who gives a fuck? It's just black people. They kill each other all the time. Like, you know what I mean? All that I shit. guess I just don't understand because I've never felt that way. Do you feel me? I don't because like, you don't have to. Yeah. You're not in that position to. You're not... I've never felt like I don't give a fuck ever about anybody dying. That's no, not no, cool, no, I'm saying, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you're not, especially children. But that's what it was for, though. It was, it was, it was, a, it was intention behind it. Well, I'm sure there was. It's just like the there's always like, an intention behind it. It's like when one goes go on stage and fold themselves, and it's supposed to be about abortion, <laughs> like <laughs> it's it about was abortion. A, like like it, was, it was one of those. <laughs> but no, like I, I like that because it was powerful, bro. Like just just to see it. Just to see the reaction. I the, someone showed me at work, so it was just that part. So that's all I saw, and I never went back to listen. To, I don't even know what song that is. Yeah, well, that, that's how. That's how. Yeah, that's that's how. That was my first impression. That's how the bullshit starts when yeah. you only see a piece of something. Sure. You're like, look at this. Yeah. And fuck, fuck the like twelve bars before it after mm-hmm. the song totally changed because that was the song that original that video mm-hmm. was for a song he made way before he was big that I used to listen to. Mm-hmm. It was called Look At Me. It's just a wild hood song. And that was the thing about X. He could do wild hood ass, loud music, but then he can get on the fucking stage and do like Green Day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, dude was brilliant. Like, with his shoes off. You know what I'm saying? A couple of the songs I listened to was like, a little bit of was mumbling. Like, so that's like about most. Singing. So that's but mostly he what does, I thought. He does that too. Yeah. But then he also he got songs that sound like he a fucking Wu Tang member. Mm-hmm. And he spent bars. That's why he was brilliant, bro. Like, that nigga talent was immense, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like I like, like I told you, bro. Like anybody listen to, I go back, I listen to everything. Mm-hmm. Like if I hear a song from you, I ain't never heard of you. I'm gonna spend the next three days listening to you. Well, then that that, that little Wayne, the like last... Roddy Roddy Rich before Roddy Rich blew up. Mm-hmm. Curse that sent me a song uh, every season, and I was like, this shit fire because he was saying some real ass shit. He was talking like an older older G. Like I like anything that does that though. For and sure. then like I went back and was taught his old shit, and then. He did the song with Marshmallow, and then it changed from all the shit I liked about him. Mm-hmm. It got way more commercial. Like right at that moment when I when I discovered him, mm-hmm. the commercial shit came. I was like, "This shit cool." Like, but it ain't got nothing to do on all his old shit. So it always fire. happens. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. it happened to me. Happened to me with Young Thug before he before he did. Happened to me with Lil Wayne. I think it happened with everybody really. Yeah, but Wayne always be my nigga though. I do love Lil Wayne. Just because Wayne, got just cause too, Wayne always do Wayne on mixtapes. But if but, he always give you the mixtape though. Yeah, for sure. So that's why, like, I'm cool with it because, and even the Carters though, the Carters ain't commercial. It's his features and mm-hmm. shit that be commercial. This like, it's like, him outside his albums, his music though is still the same as always been. Mm-hmm. You know what well, I'm with, he had that song with XX and his last album. I didn't like that song, and he had like thirty. Well, he had like thirty two songs on there, and honestly, I didn't like there. I thought I would like way more than about, I do. Uh, was that Funeral? Um, I can't remember this. I have the whole album on there. Let's I can't see the Funeral or Carter Five. It, okay. I know the last couple of albums ain't been that great. The Carter Five like disappointed me because I know it took him like over five years to make this album. Again, there's like 32 songs on. I thought I would have liked way more songs. I knew, than that, I did I knew on the there. album was gonna be bad because it took him too much to put it out. Mm-hmm. He had already put out all the Carter Five. I thought he put a lot of effort. Put, I thought, but he, he was, put out what it was gonna be. How many mixtapes he put out mm-hmm. in between? Then, that it was just pure. Yeah, he, he had a Sorry for the Wait too, and pure all that too. crack. All the way through God, His mixtapes are the best though Sorry it's for like, the wait No ceilings All that shit Dude They fucked, they fucked up Carter 5 mm-hmm. he, had to, he had to drop Carter 5 With what he had mm-hmm. Because he didn't want to fuck sense it. If he wouldn't have did If he wouldn't have made mixtapes What the fuck was he gonna do mm-hmm. Like he was stuck up under the And like you said and Almost the entire solid. mixtape too Was features Most of it was It yeah, was yeah, It's yeah. most like like You know Ear grabbing I guess or, yeah. You know But even the shit that ain't like Man Wayne's a go bro y'all, y'all be sleeping on Wayne Y'all make me mad with that shit Still love Wayne I think he's um, he, He's up there for sure But 20 years in the game Don't eventually gonna do different shit Just like y'all was mad at uh, Who was it Lincoln Park I think uh, Maybe not Lincoln Park 
Like all the white folks mad at Lincoln Park because they did an experiment. I'm like, yeah, dude. That's what artists are going to and do. And that hurt me, dude. It'd be like, but this was before he died. I was like, dude, what are you talking Like, Lincoln Park is the shit, bro. And then he died not too long ago after that. I feel know? like that about every artist. Like, even M, when M did the fucking um, revival. I didn't like revival either. Not revival. Revival sucked. Not revival. Some songs were good. Uh, Marshall Mathers LP 2 or whatever. I was a little disappointed in that one. The one where he did the, the, but the bars is there though. Yeah, that's why I don't get like because the lyrics is there. Like I just don't know how people listen to music. Mm-hmm. You know what but I, mean? I thought it was gonna it's be just, a second it, Marshall it, Matters. It's LP, just like with know? the movies. It's like people go into an album like, oh, I'm expecting this, and if I don't get this, I'm pissed. I'm like, how do you like the artists if you're not trying to hear their perspectives? Like everything's perspective. You can't expect no artists just do the same thing over and over. Mm-hmm. If you want to hear the artist still, let them work. Because they're not going to give you the same thing over and over again. Like That's like you go to your job every day. You you want something new. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like You don't want to do the same. You don't want to be the same every day, even though most time it is. But guess what? You hate that shit, don't you? Mm-hmm. You For know sure. what I mean? I mean, Revival, and like... creators are fucking... It's different than creator brain, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. It's, it's totally different. Buster Rhymes has a new album. It's pretty fire. I'm, I'm waiting on that. I still listen to Nas. These are albums I got to get a mood to listen to. So it's like... I don't want no interruptions and shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I downloaded the whole thing yesterday. Um, I got listen to that shit, bro, because Busta's my nigga, bro. Yeah, I love Y'all Busta. sleep on Busta, too. I am just I don't want to talk about music on The new Tech 9 album, we, got, we should say that. It was fire. That's, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. We got to go to entertainment, though. But yeah, Tech 9 was fire. That's part of entertainment. I can't even remember the name of the song I like. You told me uh, <clears throat> e- E-Pod? That shit's fire. Fire. Oh, my God. God, Did you bro. like the I Think Cypher, though? Yeah, that's fire, too. Dude, Stevie Stone killed it in that Cypher, bro. It was one more that I like. Uh, I like Becoming Too Famous, dude. I can't stop listening. I love the flow of that song. That's what I was telling you. It was you. something else like Becoming Too Famous, too. That was similar. similar. With Chris Calico, uh, that one was that one was dope. The song that he has with him and Chris Calico, it might have been that one. That remember. song was super fire. I can't remember. I'm, I'm checking the time, man. I got to pick up my Xbox day, Seven. Y'all. You know what I mean? I'm, and I'm just hoping it's ready. Tonight, it's supposed to be ready by 8. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Y'all don't care? Okay, cool. Um, entertainment. Little thing I saw on Screen Rant. I can't really answer it, but I'm going to ask you because maybe you can retain this information or have retained this information. Screen Rant says that Hill House was a better show, but Bly Manor had a better ending. I already agree Hill House is a better show. I don't agree. I Bly think- Manor's ending was fire as fuck. But I feel like Hill House ending was fire as fuck. Hill House, I, I, I'm I, not taking anything away from Bly Manor because I liked it, but Hill House was w- like in every sh- way, shape, or form a better show. The ending was better. No, it said it was, a, story it, said was, it was a better show. Yeah, even the ending. I, even the ending was better. I don't know. I, I, think, think. I think the endings, they were the same exact endings. Everybody was dead the whole time. No, but the ending of uh, Hill House I, got me what more. What made Bly Manor ending better is that it was a slower show for me. Yeah. Like when you like, when you saw this, it was like, oh shit, oh shit. Like when the fucking, the black chick, whatever she was in the house, when she was dead. That she was the maid, uh, the, the nanny. No, she was the maid. She was the <laughs> housekeeper. She was weird in the whole movie. I don't know. But yeah, I liked it. Mean, she's a great actress, though, for sure. Um, I'm going to have to go back. I want to go back and watch Hill House. I got to do that anyway before the second season. Do you remember what happens, though, before I say it of Hill House? Everybody was like dead in the attic or some shit. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. just way more yeah. terrifying because. In the movie, like the kid, would you, you're like the whole time because you know, like it's like it's it kept flashing back to them as kids and what they went through yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. So when you, the drug addict kid, you find out he had a he had an imaginary friend that was a girl. At the end, you find out she was not imaginary. She was a real little girl that lived down the street, and she and she was actually the housekeepers, the housekeeper and the um the whatever the guy was. There was a guy and a girl that both work in that house. It was their daughter that came over there. And that's why they stay there because they see her in that house because she's dead. And the reason she died is because their mom poisoned her because she lost her fucking mind. She was trying to poison her kids along with that girl. Cause yeah, that, yeah. Remember the little girl yeah. comes up and then that's when you find out she's real and she goes, come and have a tea party with us. And she po- like, and then that one, that girl is the only one that drank it. And I guess that went away from the drug addict's memory because it was so traumatic or something. But dude, that ending was fucked up. And both both fire you know? shows. Hill and then House, they all live Hill there House, together now. Hill you know? House was just a better show, bro. Like, and they had that red door thing. That what's behind that red door, and that's where it happened. Was behind the red door. And Hill right. House, Hill House hit like a hereditary hit. Dude, that shit was actually scary. The bent uh, neck lady, all that shit was scary. Michael B. Jordan was gonna play Static Shock in a DC movie, a Static Shock. Um, and they saying it's gonna help the DC universe. <clears throat> I don't see it. Most motherfuckers don't even know what Static Shock is. I don't but, know who he is. You know what Static Shock is. Mm-mm. He had a cartoon back in the day, but he's a he's a he's a character, lightning character. Maybe I'll know if I see. He was what a black he looks like. su- black superhero in the cartoon. He had. Oh, I do. I have uh, oh, yeah. I I have um his comic actually, 
So I do know who he is. God, you're a crackhead. Yeah. It's all like you just be doing shit. You Swear. Even, did you read it, motherfucker? Mm-mm. I haven't read it yet. You have so many. You saw all those comments you're, I got. You're trash. You're trash. You're trash. Your you're mom trash. goes to college. Uh, Zack Snyder. Y'all know who Zack Snyder is. If y'all don't know by now, then, you know, Google it. Um, He's doing Army of the Dead remake. I guess after they do his Justice League shit. Um, cool. Army of Dead is going to be fire. I love when they remake the old zombie movies like that. I wish they, they, you know what would be a cool movie to remake is Army of Darkness. <clears throat> You know, yeah, that'd be fire. Yeah, be, All those be fire. Because you know how awesome the, the new, new Evil Dead was? I mean, I, I can't call it new anymore, but how awesome that movie was, I feel like since it's made by the, I think it's made by the same people. If they remade Army of Darkness. I with, think I think oh they'll man. end up doing it because it's part of it. They'll have to. Dude, that movie, because that movie's gory and dope as like, fuck, look all corny. Re- look, Dude, all, look at all the shit they're remaking. It's coming. Dude, I hope they do. Because they, they can really make that movie super good, yeah, I think. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I feel, like it'll, I feel like it's right around the corner. I mean, it's the chainsaw. I mean, that, that even the the cover of that movie is so iconic. You know, of him staying on top of all the fucking monsters and shit with the chainsaw. Yeah, um, Dexter is being revamped, brought back. One of the greatest fucking TV series. I didn't even think about that one. Um, Dexter was fire. I still got to finish the original one. I don't know where I left off at. I got lost in it. It happens. But they're bringing that back. I'm excited about that. I love I love a good drama murder mystery, bro. I think Breaking Bad is probably my favorite. Breaking I love Bad. Breaking Bad. It's it was it was good, but like that that fizzled out for me too. After uh, fuck, dude, just everything was so crazy. The, the Latino dude, um, he tried to poison his granddad. After that whole season, you didn't finish it. Oh no, no. I finished oh, it. Oh okay. Instead, it just fizzled out for me. Oh right gotcha. Now. Because it was just the same fuck ups. It's like a lot of shows do those. Like where you knew he's gonna come out like, of it. He's gonna same, think his yeah, way out. Like I can't do too much of that. I loved how and it ended. O- though. Ozark almost fucked me up with that too. Mm-hmm. They start. Yeah, they start. Because there's nowhere Jason Bateman is getting that all shit. Y'all niggas would have been dead so many times ago, bro. I mean, this shows how smart your man. wife fu- fucked up so much, but not that's not happening in real life. And I did. I like, don't give a fuck how smart you are. It don't happen like that. Dude, we're talking about the cartel, nigga. I know that one like, part. It, it, it ain't never going down. And like for them to do it so many times, like mm-hmm. all right, it's not. No. Well, like, they did it very awesome in Breaking Bad, I think, with a lot of things. Like, for an example, when Gus had that other white guy that was going to be cooking meth, yeah. when they found out that that guy knew how to do it, what, like, what he, he had Jesse go up and blow his head off, and now they have no choice, but because they were going to kill them because they didn't need them anymore. Yeah, yeah, so he had Jesse go kill him, and now they get to stay there for a little bit. I mean, so, I get it. It just... I, just, I thought that, like, shit like that. And then him it was, secretly it was, poisoning it was people. But it, oh. it, it was dope, but it still fizzled. I loved at the end, though, how Walt it's just, it's just, poisoned it's all the people. It's just the same capers. He just played a really good character. Oh, so good. So but, good. Like, when you break down a story, it really fizzled early. Just like Weeds. Just like everything does, though. I tried and to get into all, that show. These are all great shows. I tried to get into that Weeds one. is cool, bro, but Nancy's such a whore, bro. I can't stand horrorish women. Yeah, that's how I felt like, about Shameless. Nancy's such a whore. I can't go. I was liking Shameless for a minute, and then Fiona's just so whorish. And, like, and that started getting annoying. Like, annoying as fuck. Like, how, how many times can you really fuck up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I mostly, like, liked it for William H. Macy. Because he's like one of the biggest fuck ups you yeah. could ever make as a character. He, he literally he, took. He just looks like a fuck up. Period. Bro, he his uh, his mom was like dying. She's got morphine going through her, like an IV, and he like t- took it out, put it in himself, and yeah. basically stole all of her morphine, like just shit like that. Like yeah. he uh, st- uh, man, stole a girl's heart. Uh, made sure a girl didn't get her tr- heart transplant so she would die, and he could get her pension. Wow. And he didn't. Oh man, that was fucked up. No, nah, yeah, that's fire. Bro, he like he like uh, he the beeper went off and she's in the shower and um she, and got the call that her heart was ready and he didn't tell her on purpose, and then uh, when she found out that she wasn't gonna get her heart she like she knew if she had sex she would die so she goes let's go like yeah. she she chose for like to go out by having sex and that's what happened you know dude fuck Jesus <laughs> fuck Christ. that it was all his fault um Witcher season two is coming for you Witcher fans I tried to watch that show in the first five minutes I turned that shit off. Mm. Did you ever get into it? Mm-mm. I just that's, that's, that was it. Just for y'all, you know, for y'all Witcher fans, I don't, I can't fuck with the actor or something, bro. Like, but that shit just seems so goddamn Witcher? corny. Yeah. yeah, I tried to the Witcher. I couldn't. It's Superman. <laughs> yeah, but with the long blonde hair. Shit. I tried, dude. I and shit was he, weird. Bro. My dad even likes fantasy shit like that. My dad was like, eh, it was all right. I like, love. Fan- I thought my I, I yeah. love fantasy. Yeah, shit. me too. I, I was gonna like it. Bro. I thought he was gonna like it even more. He's like, it was all right. Yeah. Like I expect his reaction to be better. Yeah, I, yeah. Not not a big on that. Uh, we gonna wrap it up, guys. But Mandalorian season two, um, it's pretty fire so far. Only the, two wor- the worldwide consensus is that people are impatient with this season. I think, but I get it. It's a lot of filler, but I think that's the adventure. You know what I mean? I think you got two motherfuckers who can't find a people, and they're both on a journey to find their race of people. 
So and I and I think in that that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a lot of filler, and then you're gonna have your moments where you know, the big moments. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The but, last episode with the frog lady and the giant spiders and all that. That was that show hey, was pretty. That fire. little motherfucker made me so mad eating them eggs. Yeah, bro. he would. <laughs> that was pissing me off, bro. That was the first time he wasn't cute, man. Like, yeah, and he ate the, that spider the dad egg. Dad in me was like, "Why the fuck you ain't listening? <laughs> Stop it! You're on a whole mission. You're eating this lady's babies." It was kind of creepy too. Like, yeah, that poor frog lady. It, it made, uh, you man. start feeling so bad for her with a little dress I on. I felt and shit. shitty. Yeah, bro. I felt like stop doing that. Yeah, man. it was pretty cool how she took the robot and did the voice thing so she can talk to him. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was glad she did that. They, they needed that. That was cool that you know how that's how smart they are is that she was able to do that. Bro, how do you feel about the mechanic lady with the robots? Do you think she's she, annoying as fuck? Do you think fuck. she bad? I kind of like her, but I think she got some up her sleeve. I, think, I don't think she's bad, but I think she would sneaky. fuck him over if she had yeah, if, yeah. if it came down to it cuz I think she she only cares about herself. She's probably one of them. And that damn child, but I think she'll take it if she had the opportunity. But she, I think if they offer her, she always gives it back before he even acts. So it's like fuck. It's because Mandalorian would kill her. But I think if she was presented an offer she can't refuse, she'd totally fuck over the fuck over him. Her and her little stupid ass droids. Yeah, I mean, she's like I. Uh, damn man, she's so corny. <laughs> like, uh, the only thing about the episode, bro, was I, wish, I, I hate thought, her I thought we was gonna see more of Boba Fett. Yeah, um, I thought we were gonna see something. I think it was kind of corny that the. The the alliance let them go like that. Yeah, the yeah, and they're like, we're not even gonna help you with your ship either. But like, hey, man, you know what? You did some good stuff, so you can get out of here. But figure it out. Yeah, but figure it out. And he's like, how about this? I'll give you some of my bounties if you help me with my ship. And they're like, huh? How about no? <laughs> kind of thing. Like, what? <laughs> we, just chased, we just chased you for twenty minutes, but you and then we out. saved you real quick. We can go. You can go now. That was kind of cheesy, like, but and, I, and that's where I see where people like just just filler because that was hella fillery. The second mm-hmm. half of that. Mm-hmm. And they just I mean? came in and took out all. Seems to me like a video game. It's like you have, like you know what the video game is about, but now you're in some missions on the way. Like yeah. you know, there's like a some crazy like this computer animated character comes out like, hey, I need help with my babies. This is my last of my kind. Will you help me? Yeah. And you got to be like, oh, fuck yeah, I guess. Like you know, yeah, now I got to do that. And then now the spiders come out and choom, 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 choom. got me into. Yeah, I mean you're like fuck this level. <laughs> small, small little Easter egg to a pair of those spiders were from uh, I think like Empire Strikes Back or something. Those are like the same spiders from one of the older Star Wars movies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't even mm-hmm. remember them spiders. I don't either. For real. I don't either, but it's been a minute since I've seen the first three originals. Reminded me more of Harry Potter, you know, from the second one where all the spiders come yeah, out, yeah. and they had the big, gigantic spider that talks. <laughs> I didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't like that. <laughs> My mom said that part in the book is way better. And bro, I, believe, I, I, I totally I hear so that. much good shit about those books, bro. Yeah, me too. They're, They're so, so much fucking good long, though. Like, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have the are, time those are small, to read. Those books, the Harry Potter books? They're easy reads, Tripping. Though. Easy read. The first one is this big, then it gets bigger and bigger. The last one is like this is fucking That's big. It's bigger read. than the Bible. It's easy to read though. <laughs> Man, I I don't even feel like having the time. It's like bigger than the Bible, <laughs> bro. Just read. What do you do? Fucking play beer pong on the weekends? No, I watch movies. Take and listen to your, music. Take a day and get your mind right. That's, and I am reading a book. Reading, bro. I'm reading that chaos book, and it's taking me forever because I you read toxic shit. <laughs> nah, it's an interesting. That's why you're a fucking loony to nah, it's fucking, Interesting as fuck. You're fucking wacky doodle. Whatever. Uh, I'm reading Misery too from Stephen King. I'm reading two books, and I also watch a lot of TV shows, and I listen to music, and I work, and I have a kid. Bro, all Give me a break. You do is practice fucking dance moves. When is the last book you read? All and you I have do? comic books I want to read hey, too. Nigga, you got a long way to go to get books on your belt with me. Don't fuck me. I don't read all of Dean Cole shit. You probably half, listen to half me. of Stephen King's. No, I read all my grandma shit. <laughs> what's my grandma? My what's my grandma passed? I read all of, all of Dean Cole's first, mm-hmm. and I read like I ain't read a lot of Stephen King because I think I talk too much, and I like Dean Cole's way mm-hmm. better. Dean Cole's. Is Man, I get, oh, man, that my mom, uh, a lot of his shit should have been movies. My mama used to be a bookhead. She has every Stephen King book. And I'll ask her if you read this book. She's, I don't read books anymore. I just listen to them. Like my mom even transitioned from being a huge that. reader to listening to. I them. hate that. She's like, I don't have time, boy. I hate. I, hate, I was surprised hearing that. Like, I it's hate real. narration like that. Yeah, she and, and this is from my mom. Like, yeah, I would never think she would have transitioned from that. No, oh, I can't go. She the even lad, got the, the she even had book. the Kindles. Remember when the Kindles got popular and you yeah. could just buy all the books on one thing? She had one of those, and then it got to, now like now it's either. different now. I don't like that either. I need the paper. I yeah, need the I like that. Book. Yeah, I like that too. I think, what was that book I read? Was it Odd Thomas? You look like someone who had a record player too, which I I want one too. I went to the record store I to grew, get it. I grew up with them, so yeah, man, probably. they have everything in there, bro. I didn't. I, I like that type. Bro, shit. they had Nas in there, like and uh, like the way the dude described. He's like, man, it's like holding music, and he's like, that's why I like I like mine. I was like, man, I feel that. Yeah. But no, uh, that's fire, you know. And I would the, the sound is totally different too. I would end up just being a collect. I would just collect the fuck out of them. That's what I end up doing with shit like that. Anything nerdy or pop culture, like you know, I just start collecting shit like that. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see this. This is my fucking daughter, bro. Pulling a little speck. I'm gonna whoop her ass. <laughs> Quit it. Oh, uh, 
We are done here, man. We're about to wrap it up. We talked about Johnny Depp and he got fucked over, man, on the swindle. Oh, we talked about the best, the worst TV shows, the most underrated, how to keep a TV show alive. We talked about the Mandalorian a little bit. You know, a little nigga was eating all the eggs, pissed me off. Um, the Boys, one of the greatest TV shows, with best best TV shows. We didn't say that. I think we should. Yeah, it ain't up there yet, though. It got, it got some seasons to go. I love, I'm loving it so far. It ain't on my really, really list yet, though. It's not even on top 20 yet. It's too much, it's too much gangster shit. Oh, I'm loving it so far, though. No, it's fire so far. I think it's going to, five seasons is going to be great. It's be great. Know. They got a long way to go. They, yeah, got a long way to they go. could fuck it up. They could easily fuck it up. Watch Disney, but I hope not. Oh, my. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> don't put that you, evil. Why would you say that? Oh, we're going to get out of here, man. Shane just made me sad with that idea. We're going to get the fuck out of here, though, guys. Thank God for listening. Thank God for, you know, being here all the time. And, you know, you know they you should know, put Deadpool in it. You know, tune in. You should just come in as a cameo. <sighs> I'm gone. <laughs> you know what? We, we out of this motherfucker, man. Uh, Sorry. Uh, peace. Love, peace. Love. Strength. Not war. Fucking. Everybody love everybody. Live, laugh, love, love. Roll the light and smoke it, man. We get the fuck out of here. Shane just <laughs> hate you, man. Where my weed at? Peace, y'all. Be good. Got you out of my head, yeah. They fake as hell. But I'm grinding, going hard, yeah. Too loud.